Hello there, this is John V, Software Evangelist of Jscape, and I'm here for another MFD Server tutorial. Files you upload to an Amazon S3 trading partner through Jscape MFD Server are normally stored in plain text. If you want to encrypt those files to minimize the risk of a data breach, one way to do that is by using the AWS Key Management Service or AWS KMS. We'll show you how to use this particular service in this post. Note that there are costs associated with the AWS KMS service, so I suggest you read first the pricing details on the AWS website in the link I provided in the description or in the post. Alright, the first thing you need to do is to create a Customer Master Key or CMK. You can create this key through either the AWS KMS API or the AWS Management Console. For this example, we'll be using the AWS Console. Bring up your AWS Management Console and go to the Key Management Service. If you haven't used that service yet, the easiest way to find it is by simply typing the name or the acronym into the search box like this. Pay attention to the region displayed at the upper right corner of the screen. While you may change that, just make sure it's the same region you select in your Jscape MFT Server Amazon S3 Trading Partner object. Otherwise, you'll encounter some connection issues. Click the Create Key button to start creating your CMK. We'll just be creating a very basic CMK, so if you want to know more about all the relevant concepts and advanced settings, I suggest you read the AWS KMS Developer Guide. I've provided a link to that in the post or in the description. When the Configure Key page loads up, select Symmetric. This will create a single symmetric key. If you're not familiar with symmetric and asymmetric encryption keys, I suggest you read the post Symmetric versus Asymmetric Encryption. Again, I provided a link to that in the post or in the description. And after that, click Next. Enter an alias for this key. This is just an arbitrary human-friendly name you'll be using to refer to this key here in the AWS environment and in your Jscape MFT server Amazon S3 trading partner object. You may also add a short description if you want and then click next to proceed. Next, select the I am user or users that you want to administer this key. In my case, I'm just using my own user account. Click next. After that, select the I am user or users who you want to use this CMK in cryptographic operations. Again, I'm just choosing my own user account. And let's click next to proceed. Lastly, click finish to finalize the CMK creation process. You should then see your newly created customer master key among your list of CMKs. Now that you have your CMK ready, the next step is to assign that key to an Amazon S3 bucket. Go to the AWS S3 service and then click the bucket whose data you want to encrypt with AWS KMS. Go to the Properties tab and then navigate to the default encryption section and then click the text at the bottom. Normally, that would be initially set to AES-256. When the default encryption dialog box pops up, select the AWS-KMS option and then click the alias of the CMK you created earlier. In my case, that would be JCV-TestKey. Click Save to proceed. So now, the text at the bottom of the default encryption section should now display AWS-KMS instead of AES-256. That's all you need to do on the AWS Management Console. 
You may now proceed to your Jscape MFT server instance and edit your Amazon S3 trading partner. In my case, the name of my S3 trading partner is TP-S3. Once you're inside your Amazon S3 trading partner parameters dialog, scroll down to the authentication section. Make sure the access key ID of this S3 trading partner is the access key ID of the AWS user you used in creating the CMK. Tick the Use Encryption checkbox and then select the region that matches the region displayed when you created your CMK. In my case, it's already set to US East Ohio, which is the correct region, so I'm leaving that as is. After that, select the AWS-KMS option and expand the adjacent drop-down list. And then click OK to apply the changes. That's all there is to it. But before we end, let me just show you what happens when you upload a file to your AWS-KMS protected Amazon S3 bucket from Jscape MFT server. So what I have here is a trigger that uploads a file to my Amazon S3 bucket. So as you can see, the partner setting is set to TP-S3, which is the name of my Amazon S3 trading partner object. And the file this trigger is configured to upload is named file01.txt and is going to be uploaded to the folder named folder1 under the S3 bucket named Jscape John. So if I run this trigger and check inside the S3 bucket folder named folder1 through the AWS management console, I should see the newly uploaded file named file01.txt and if I click on that file and check its properties, I see that it has indeed been encrypted with AWS-KMS encryption. That's it. Now you know how to use AWS-KMS to encrypt files uploaded to your S3 trading partner using Jscape MFT server.